Hey everyone, and welcome back. So we kind of went over our dashboard a bit. Now we're gonna actually get into a file. So I'm in my test project here. All you need to do to create a new file is click this little plus button. So I'm gonna click that plus button and I'm just gonna click a blank canvas. You have different templates that you can use here, which are really great if you need to, but let's just create a quick one. Now let's go over what we have here. So this is what your blank canvas looks like. We went over a little bit about this kind of like middle bar over here. You can show your version history. You can export this, you can duplicate it, you can rename it. So I'm going to rename this to my test file. Perfect. You can delete this and you can move it to any other project. Now, another important thing is in this little menu over here, getting back to your dashboard is really easy just by clicking that, but you can also access any other thing here like files. You can save it if you want to. You can export it. You can save it as an actual Figma file if you don't want to keep it in the cloud. I never really usually do that. I usually always keep it in the cloud and just send links to people. But this is where you would do that. You have your edit options here, your view options, object options, all these different options that you can access. You can even get the desktop app if you really want to. But for the ease of use right now, I'm just showing you how to use it within your browser. That's why I really love Figma. You can use it in your browser as well. So the barrier to entry is very, very small. So let's get right into this. So we have all our different tools here. We have our move tool over here, our scale tool. We have our frame tool and your frame is essentially kind of like your artboard in sketch. I can make a big frame like that. Or if I select the frame tool, you'll see this is the shortcut, which is F. So if I select F, which I just did, you can see all the different things that you can do here. If I wanted a phone frame, I have options. I'm going to go to desktop and I'm just going to select, uh, let's select a MacBook Pro. So there you go, you have your frame. You also have slicing if you want to use slicing. We won't be using that in this whole project. And these are your shape tools. These are your rectangles, your lines, your arrows, ellipses. You have your polygon star, you can even place an image. And once again, they conveniently show you all the shortcuts. So if I want to place a rectangle, I can select that or I can select R if I wanted to make a circle. I select the circle and I can put that in. If I wanted to keep the proportions the same and make this an actual circle and not like an oval, I will hold down shift and I can scale that any which way I want. Same with rectangle. So if I select R to select a rectangle tool, I can place that and if I hold shift, I can make a square. Really easy stuff. Next, we have our pen tool and our pencil tool. Pen tool is really great for making icons. All you need to do is just click and you can make anything that you want. You can make any shape. You can edit that shape by pressing that point. You can even add a fill. And we're gonna get into that later, but you can easily make vectors with that pen tool. And next we have our text tool and all you need to do is press T for text tool. So we have our text tool selected and you can either create a big box. I'm on a uh, Mac, so I pressed command Z to go back, but let's do that again. So we've got our text tool. You can just click and start typing. And there we go. You can just keep on going, press enter to go to a new line. Command A on Mac to select all and backspace and the text layer disappears. Next, we have our hand tool and we have comments. So this we'll get into a little bit later, but comments, all you need to do to leave a comment, see this is a different state now, if you notice the right has changed, you click 
and you can add a comment and click comment. And there you go. This is a great way to collaborate with others. So I'm going to delete this comment by just clicking on it and clicking delete comment. And if I click V, V is the shortcut to the move tool. So if I click V, I will go back to the move tool. So these are your basic tools for just getting things set up within Figma and using like just your basic shapes, your frames, uh, using the pen tool, your text tool, that's all you're really gonna need to get going. So I'm gonna select all these, delete this, and we're gonna move on.